Hi there, hope you're all doing well. I am back with another 3D printed miniature. This week it is a beholder. I'm not too sure who sculpted this or even where I got it from, but there's several beholders out there anyway and you can paint them all up the same way. This thing was primed in desert sands and I start off with dark flesh tone over the entire model. This ends up taking a lot of time, so I do end up cutting that section of the video short. If you have an airbrush, I would probably recommend doing that for first coverage as it's just going to be much easier. If you have any questions or mini requests, feel free to drop them in the comments below. You can also ask me on any of my social media pages using the links below, including a new Discord server where they will be voting on the next mini I paint every week. After finally finishing the base layer of flesh, I used gory red to do a dry brush over the entire thing, just to give that skin a bit more depth. To finish up the skin I do a final dry brush of bloody red, trying to catch only the top areas this time and the bulk of the face, just to sort of draw that attention towards that central area. Now that the skin is finished, I started on the teeth using desert yellow. This covers the entire teeth, but this is only a primarily a base layer and I build up on top of it afterwards. Before I do any more on the teeth, I noticed a good chunk of the gums are actually visible, so I grabbed Warlock Purple to fill them in. I also tinted around the main eye just to look like the skin's a little bit thinner there. The next layer on the teeth is Banshee Brown. This is to cover the top two thirds, leaving that desert yellow just in the very edges at the bottoms of the teeth. Now for the final third of the teeth using Bone White. Once I finish the teeth, I use this color to also base off the eyes just so that it gets a bit more decent coverage later on.
Next, I started on the eyes with gray matter beige for the whites of them. As you can see, I also done the very tips of each of the teeth just to give it a bit of a like sharp edge look. For the iris of each eye I used green skin just to paint a sort of oval shape in the center of them to give them that color. Of course, eyes are never just one color, so I used a fire lizard to add a little bit of variety to them. I wanted some more variety in the eyes, so I also added some jade green lines around them. To finish up the iris colors, I used moon yellow, but this is only on the central eye as the little ones are getting a bit too full up. To finish up the eyes, I added the pupils with matte black, also taking the opportunity to do the base color for this, well, the base. While I was still waiting for the base to dry, I used strong tone on the teeth and the underside of each eye. Now for something I don't normally do in my videos, I'm going to be adding some bits to the base instead of just painting it black and leaving it. I start off by super gluing some resin skulls I had laying around into a small pile. I 
I then added PVA glue to the rest of the base, leaving that mound that I have on there and these skulls dry. To finish up before painting, I covered the PVA in sand and just knocked off all the excess, leaving that sort of gravelly stone texture on the base. I next started painting the base with uniform grey. This is covering everything apart from the skulls. While waiting for the grey to dry, I used desert yellow to paint the first layer of the skull pile. I now used ash grey to do a dry brush over the base, trying to avoid the skulls as much as possible, although I do get a small bit on there anyway. Next, I grabbed bone white to do a highlight all over the raised areas of these skulls. The last thing I do is give the entire base a strong tone wash, just to blend it all together. And that will be it for a beholder. You can't go wrong with a giant eye that shoots spells out of smaller eyes. If you have any questions or mini requests, feel free to drop them in the comments below. As always, there will be photos of this mini on my Instagram and Facebook pages. All links to my social media are in the description below, including my Twitch channel where I stream Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays at around 8pm UK time. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, but most importantly, don't forget to be kind to each other.